I think one of the challenges that we're facing is what is that, that connection amongst the teams. There's actually been a lot of research that loneliness is at an all time high. And this is not just in North America, this is around the world. And we're seeing that people, although we're spending more time digitally through like Zoom meetings or remote meetings, spending more time in front of our computers, probably near other folks, we're actually feeling more isolated and lonely than ever. And, and we're seeing the stressor on the ability for an organization to build a cohesive team. So how do you start to think about finding ways in which we can go in and have shared experiences, build trust, improve problem solving skills from a team standpoint? So this is how can we create those? And one of the ways that we've started to do this, we actually created an escape room, a virtual escape room where members of a team can actually go into the same room at the same time. So instead of the old paradigm of a team building event where you brought folks in and you're going to uh, do like a very hands on activity, we're now going digital so you can bring folks that are virtual as well as in the same space. They can go into like an escape room, solve a problem together, have a shared experience and then debrief. The byproduct is they're not only learning valuable skills, but they're also learning to trust and connect with each other in ways that they haven't before that you just can't do in front of a, a Zoom meeting, for example. So that's just one dimension that we start to think creativity about building team connections and, and, and trust and, and you know, remove some of that feelings of isolation, I think, that we're, we're seeing running rampant across the workforce. I think another real challenge that we're facing in, in hybrid learning uh, teams, uh, you know, really learning for hybrid workforce is really around how to create meaningful connections. So there's been a lot of research showing that, that currently across our populations, people are feeling more isolated and lonely than they ever have. And I think we look at the past two years of the pandemic, but it wasn't just then, it was actually leading into that, this increasing feeling of I'm not as connected to other things. And, and you see this coming out in a lot of different directions, but if I were a manager today, one of my big questions is thinking about how can I really create that team cohesion, that team productivity. Um, you know, Zoom, uh, Zoom meetings, WebEx meetings are really great and efficient when you're trying to execute, but you're really hard to kind of build a connection with everybody else. I mean, if you think of the old uh, old school system when we brought folks into a training facility, it wasn't what we presented in the classroom. It was when we were at the back of the snack table or in between the breaks or when we had the lunch. That's when we really started to build our relationships. So when we're thinking about creating learning experiences or learning journeys, we want to build in opportunities that help teams actually grow that connection to feel part of something. Uh, just one very simple example that we put in place is we've we started to design a, a really focused um, escape room. It's an activity that takes about 20 minutes, but it's in a virtual reality space where uh, folks that are, can be co-located or actually virtually, they go into this VR room together at the same time and they're solving problems. They're practicing communication skills, problem solving skills. They're laughing, they're sharing with each other. They're actually sharing the experience. And then what we do is at the end of it, we have a debrief and all of that where they get an opportunity to internalize and share how they felt, what they thought, they're actually growing and learning together. And just that simple act, not only did it have an impact on you know, skills like problem solving or communication, but it also helped to drive that connection. And that's something important that we need to design is, is to holistically meet the full needs of the learner. And it really is kind of coming back to combat that sense of, of isolation or loneliness.